Hi guys, it's Danny, and I'm coming back to you today with a haul that I got um, of all of the antique stuff that I got throughout um, my trips to the antique stores. Um, I have some footage of me going through the antique stores and showing you guys some stuff, and then also some Ray Dunn that I had found at my local Marshalls. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing that I got was this um, old bicycle air pump. Um, so it's really old and this is what it looks like. You stand it on this, um, you put your foot on here and then you go like this and the air would come out of here. So I got this and I'm looking, um, I'm going to hang it on my wall. Um, uh, this way I'm gonna clean it up and stuff because it's a little rusty um, but I got this for four dollars my dad's actually the one that found this um, he came with me to go antiquing and he saw this and was like wow that's an old bicycle air pump and he had never seen one before so he got um, he grabbed it and said that he wanted to uh, he wanted me to get it and that would look cool on the wall so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hang it on the wall probably um, I'm not sure exactly where yet but Put some brackets on the wall and hang it up so that's the first thing i got so the next thing i got are two little bean crocs um, so i'm looking to collect a lot of crocs um, i really like the style of them and um, they're good for like putting stuff in they look nice above um, kitchen cabinets so once i style them too i'll show you guys a video um, so this is the first one and it has the blue crown with the two in it and it has a top on it which is really nice and then it has the little um handle here so this one's a bean crock and then i have a, a little bit of a bigger bean crock that has a three on it so it's a three gallon um so this is it right here and the blue crown again with the top and the handle so i have these two bean crocks right here and then I have a large stoneware crock that I think this year um, I saw some Pinterest ideas of putting a Christmas tree in the crock. So I don't know if I'm going to use this crock or the bigger one, but this is a four gallon crock. And this is what it looks like. It has the big four on it. It's big and deep and it has the two handles on the side, which I really like. Actually a local lady that lived in my town that had all of these crocks. Um, she had like a seven total and she was selling them for like $125 for the whole seven But I actually wasn't interested in the whole seven So she decided to sell them separately, which was really nice of her. So I got the two small bean crocs from her and the larger um, Crock from her which was not actually in her listing But she was like if you have any interest of the larger ones because I saw a large one in her house And I was like wow, I really love it. It was a 12 gallon that she had and um, it looked beautiful It was a big white one with um the blue crown on it which i really like the blue crown style and um she was like oh i have some bigger ones and she had this four gallon one available um that she was going to sell me so i was like okay i'll take it they're really expensive to come by but she was selling them for really great prices so i didn't want to pass them up um 
and I'm really excited to style them um, in our apartment. So this is one of the Crocs that I got as well. This one's a 10 gallon blue heart Croc and with a lid, which a lot of them don't come with lid. So it's nice that this one has a lid and I'll take it off for you. So this is what it looks like without the lid and it's really big on the inside. That's what it looks like compared to the four gallon. So this is what it looks compared to the four gallon. It's very big. I love it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use it for yet, but I am starting to collect these Crocs. They are worth quite a bit of money, um, but I just really like the style of them and I love that old vintage um, decor. The next item I got is this old fishing basket. So this was an old kid's fishing basket. Um, it has this leather strap on the top here. It has a lot of patina on it, which I like. Um, it's a little damaged here um, and like here in the back. But I'm actually going to um, hang this on the wall and open it up like this and stick um, some decorative flowers in there. So it's really cool. Um, I found this at an antique store in a local town about 30 minutes away. Two stores that I had never been to before. I tried to go to them um, the day before, but they were both closed on a Tuesday. So I went back and I found a lot of good stuff there. That's where I found the bicycle pump and um, some of the other things I'm going to show you guys. And then... Um, this basket so the guy has a big barn and he's taking stuff out of it um, and he has like an antique store and this was one of the items that was hanging up outside and I was like do you know what this is and he was like yes it's an old kids fishing basket and I was like oh that's really cool it would look really cool hanging on the wall um, like a narrow wall with some flowers in it because you can buy those baskets at like Hobby Lobby or um, you know Marshalls they sell them um, but I thought this was really unique and that it would look really cool and I love um, the color of it I think it looks perfect this is what it looks like for size um, so it's really narrow but it's about as tall as the um, four gallon croc um, it's maybe about a foot tall or so it's not very big it's very tiny it was a, ch a child's so the next two items that I got are some vintage books. Um, just two right here. This one, I think it says $2, but I actually got it for like 50 cents. Um, I thought it looked really pretty. I really like the colors of it. And then this one here, this was Family Robinson, which I actually have never read. I had to pick two books that I would actually read. I was trying to find a few more so I could stack them up um, like this on like a table or on um, this cabinet behind me and but that like went well together too like the colors go really nicely together um but i was only able to find two the first one is the prince and the pauper and the other one is this family robinson another item i found is this old milk crate um, so people would have these on their porch to put in um, milk bottles that the milkman would drop off. My parents actually have one on their porch, but um, they have that one so they wouldn't give it to me. But I found this one and I thought it was really nice on it. It says, um, it's a little rusted. I'm going to clean it up and try and get that rust off. It's Ferris Dairy. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but um, so this is a little milk crate. And then inside... It has four milk bottles. So four empty milk bottles and I picked them out. They need to be cleaned. Um, this one says Stewart's. Um, but I'm gonna leave it open like this for decor. Um, I'm gonna clean it up and everything. And it looks really nice. I really like it. I might put it on top of my old, um, or I might put it on top of my cabinets because um, I think it would look nice out there. But. I really do like it. It's really cute um, and it's perfect. It's really small so it fits well in a small area. Next item I got is an old antique picnic basket. This is what it looks like. And it has 
has the old um, hinge right here that comes out and it opens up like this and it has a spot for utensils and then it's big and deep in here. I bought this from a local lady off of Craigslist um, for like 20 bucks and it's she said she purchased it at a uh, like flea market like 40 years ago so it's older than that um, and it was made it's a woven wood by Jerry Will um, I'll post like a similar one down below if I can find it I'll try and post everything I find down below um, at least similarities so if you're interested in any of this um, home decor that you can find it yourself and then I'll also show you at the end of this video how I style everything um, I don't have everything like for the styling um, so I want to put this on top of my hutch and open it up um, I'll add a picture right here um, for what I'm trying to do so I want to put like some floral decorations in here and have it open on top of my hutch and it looks really pretty. The next items I got I all found at a local flea market for like 50 cents dollar each like everything was really cheap um which is really nice because I really like all this old stuff but I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. People sell all this stuff for a lot of money and I mean I don't want to spend that much money on decor old items i mean i can buy the new items but they're not the same um but i do like spending a little bit of money on some older stuff that people can't find every day so the first thing i bought is this old cutting board so i'm probably just going to style it up on my cabinets i'm not going to use it um i am going to clean it up and try and sand it down i really like all of the cut marks that it has in it so it has some really nice you know somebody use this a lot um so i'm gonna clean it up and everything and then i'm gonna stick it up on um my cabinets to display and the next thing is a vintage rolling pin so i'm going to try and collect a few rolling pins to stick in an old crock that i'm going to put on top of my refrigerator um or maybe on top of uh, my cabinets as well. I'm looking for like a small two gallon or a one gallon crock, but they're hard to come by in that small. Um, it's a lot of the bigger ones um, or the little bean crocks. So if I can find a two gallon crock, I will um, get a few more vintage rolling pins. They're about like two bucks each at the store. I'm not going to use them again. I'm probably just going to sand it down, um, restain it, or just at least clean it up um, since it has some nice markings to it. The next thing that I got is this old vintage um, bulb jar with the zinc top lid so these are um not common um they're kind of hard to find um but i happened to stumble across one at this flea market for like a dollar um so i bought it i love the blue color and i'm interested in making some homemade candles i also got these vintage um anchor hawking glasses off of etsy i got a set of six and they're like a greenish clear color and they're really cool um i've been looking for those glasses for a while and i found some and um there is another youtube video um jamie ray vintage put up and it has her diy candles and she actually used those types of glasses and i really like them so i thought the candles would look really nice in those the next thing I found is this little mug rack. So I am actually purchasing a Hoosier. And if you don't know what a Hoosier is, I will post um, a picture of one or the picture of the one that I'm gonna get. And I'm gonna redo it and put it in our kitchen and put a coffee bar on it. Um, it's really old. I think it's from 1940. Um, they said I'm picking it up um, this weekend and it has a pull out, which I'll insert the picture of the pull out. Um, and you put flour in it and it comes through the bottom. The metal table part coming off of it has the bread box. Um, it's really, really cool. And it has, um, it's white, really chippy paint. And then it also has like some red on it, which I really like. I think I'm just going to keep it all original. Just change the knobs out because two of the knobs don't match. So I'm going to find some rustic um, farmhouse style knobs for it that match what they look like now if I can find them. Um, so I'm going to put this on it with some mugs. So I found this for like 50 cents. It's just a wooden mug rack. Um, I'm going to paint it white and distress it and I'm going to put some mugs on it. So I have um, a mug here that I'll just show you and I'll just hang it on like that. Yeah. 
The next thing that I found is this wicker wreath. So I found this, um, I think for a buck, and I thought it was really cool. I don't know if I'm gonna use it um, like down somewhere and put something in the center, or if I'm gonna hang it somewhere. Um, I haven't actually decided what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I just liked it and thought it was different. Um, probably not gonna add anything on it, maybe just a ribbon so I can hang it. Um, but that's really, I just thought it was really cute. I really like wicker baskets and all that kind of stuff, so thought this would go nice with the decor that we have in our house. I found this wreath for $2 um, and I thought it was really cute. I don't know if it's grapes or what it is on here. Uh, it doesn't really look like grapes, they're really small, but I thought it was really pretty for spring um, or I mean really anytime, spring or fall, you can use this. Um, but I thought it looked really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it on our door um, or if I'm gonna use it again like this as decoration somewhere. You can do a lot of different things with wreaths. So once I figure out what I'm going to do with it, I will show you guys. And lastly, from my antique haul, I found this wicker basket, which is pretty big. Um, so I saw a Pinterest post that had a wicker basket with like some gourds and um, floral display in it. And I thought it would look really pretty on top of my cabinets or on my hutch um, or even on the floor or on this table right here. So I found this, I think it was a dollar. Um, it's really nice and it's really in good shape. Um, it's definitely an older one because it's that thicker wicker. And yeah, so I'm excited. I'm going to find a good spot for that. So this is my jelly cupboard that I had just purchased from a lady off of um, Facebook Marketplace. She lived about 20 minutes away. It's very small. It's like 20 inches high, um, 25 inches wide. So it fits perfectly under my window right here. So that's um, an old window that I found at the Albany Historical um, Society building. And I put pictures of me and my boyfriend behind it and it's hanging in our living room. And actually these um, frames, I have a picture of my dog and a picture of my late dog over there and this little banner from Marshalls that I have hanging up. These um, frames I actually made um, out of two by fours um, and I'm not actually sure what size this is, um, but I got cut them with a circular saw, um, nailed this part across, I stained it and then I sprayed it with white over me over it and distressed it. And I thought they look really nice next to this window. This is what it looks like on top. So it looks really nice. It's in really good condition. Um, it's definitely old. You don't see a lot of jelly cupboards anymore. Um, the lady sold it for 50 bucks, so I couldn't say no to that because it doesn't really need that much work. Um, and if I ever wanted to get rid of it, I could sell it. Um, but I thought it fit perfectly right in this spot. It doesn't stick out far, so there's still plenty. It doesn't stick out far, so it's perfect. Um, I'm gonna keep this top stain. I'm probably gonna sand it down just because there is a little spot here and there's some marks back here. Um, so I'm probably gonna sand it down and just restain it and keep the top of wood because I really like that. And then this, I'm just gonna clean up and probably just distress it a little more. It looks like there's some blue paint under there, um, which I think is nice, it pops through. Um, and I might take out this part, so I'm gonna open it up. Here's the little latch here. It looks like it's been painted many times. Still the original wood in the back. I'm um, just gonna clean it up because it's a little dirty and smells old but it has these um you know just boards here and i really want to see if the other side was covered and if there are going to be boards on the other side because that's what i this is the style i would want on the front if not i'm just going to pop this whole thing out and i'm going to put some chicken wire in there so you can see through it but it has you know some nice coloring to it Probably not gonna paint it. I don't think it needs to be painted. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I'm just gonna clean it up and distress it a little bit more. 
So the last two items that I got are Radon, which I bought new at the store from Marshalls. Um, and they're two mugs. I also found a cake stand, but I have that packed away in my car because I picked it up for somebody. They were looking for it and I found it. Um, and I'm going to give it to her since I don't really have any space for a cake stand and I probably won't use it. I just don't need it. So I do like it, it's very cute. I will post a picture of what it looks like. So the two mugs that I found are this one, which it says fall, y'all. And it's like a rusty orange on the inside. And I was really looking for this mug and it just happened to be sitting right on the shelf in the store when I walked in along with another mug that I wanted as well. I actually have this mug from last year, but it looks different last year. It's a different orange on the inside and the writing last year was smaller than the writing this year. So that would be the pumpkin spice. The reason I wanted another one of these is I like the style um, of this one. And I also wanted to keep the older one because it's older and then it's a different one. So it's a little bit harder to find the older one since it didn't get re-released. Um, the orange on the one from last year is more of like a Halloween orange, like that rich, um, bright orange that you see. And then this one's that rusty orange again. So it says pumpkin spice and the back has a heart on it. And I thought it was really cute. This one actually is also bigger than the one last year. So those are my two mugs that I got. They're both $5.99 at Marshalls. Um, you can find uh, Raydon at Marshalls Home Goods and TJ Maxx. Um, I'm going to do a Raydon collection of everything that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe, you can hit the subscribe button down below and click the little bell so you get notifications when I upload another video. Bye.